Hello, City Dome and Convention Center. We are Triple J Solutions. My name is Nate Bloom. Uh, this is the venue reservation project we put together for you. Uh, we have some key components to this presentation, uh, system requirements, system architecture, platform, strengths and weaknesses, and finally a prototype demonstration for you. But uh, first, let's move on to our Triple J Solutions team members for you. Again, uh, I'm Nate Bloom. I had the project manager role in this project. Um, basically, I set up the outline uh, timeline and the outline for the project. Um, and then the rest of our rock stars here um, did the rest. We have Jared uh, Bachman, who was in charge of our technical documentation and part of the integration between the database and the website. We have Jeff Strand, who is in charge of the database. And again, the integration between the database and the website. And we have Joseph Layden, who built the website and also helped with the integration between the database and the website. These guys did an excellent job for you. Our first component in the presentation is the system requirements. Um, we had from Harry and Kathleen the requirements and the expectations you guys gave us for the project and we kind of uh, narrowed those down and in, into some concise headings and here are the system requirements for the project um, we definitely wanted to eliminate the manual process save you guys some time and money um, i think probably the key system requirement was eliminating errors such as double booking of rooms or venues um, we also made sure that the website had a user-friendly interface and allowed some quality enhanced reporting. The reporting you guys needed to send to marketing is, is very easy now. Um, the efficient storage of data pertaining to event scheduling. The integration between the database and the website went very smoothly and, and it functions very well for you guys. Efficient tracking of information pertaining to customers, venues, and caterers and be able to allow employees easy access through system to determine room availabilities, room recommendations, caterer availabilities, and caterer recommendations. Um, I know in the, the first system brief, you guys take a lot of bookings over the phone and it's hard to uh, set up reservations or pull up availabilities while on the, on the phone. With the new system, that will be no problem for you guys. Continuing with uh, the last couple system requirements, uh, we have allow employees easy access to make reservations, change reservations, or cancel reservations. Uh, the system must keep track of cancel reservation with customer information available to make future customer service calls. Um, for any sort of marketing, the 10% off um, future reservations you guys wanted to be able to do, the system keeps track of all canceled reservations as well as um, booked reservations and pretty much everything you guys could use and the system must be able to again provide marketing office reports on a regular basis this new function will work very smoothly for you guys our next component in the presentation is the system architecture um, basically right now you guys had one workstation to share between Harry and Kathleen um, we've purchased the a second workstation so they both can book reservations at the same time and in the diagram you can see that um, the website is based on the internet um, stored on a remote server as well as the the new database and the link between the database and the web application allows for all of the easy pull-ups and querying of data that you guys needed um, so this is the diagram for the system architecture this is system architecture continued. Um, basically, this is the web server and the database server that we used um, from the previous diagram and all of the technical spec specifications. And the last part of the system architecture is the server administration. We have a, a URL to the site here and some credentials listed. We obviously didn't put the password um, that will be stored in the password locker and the documentation you'll receive um, as well at the end of the project. Moving on to the next criteria in the presentation, we have the platform selection, um, basically what we use to build the website. Our design choice centered around creating an easy to use simple web application. 
We chose to use Foundation as the framework for the web application in order to streamline production and keep costs low. Um, stay under the $35,000 budget you guys had for us. In addition, the framework allows for City Dome and Convention Center to scale the web application or build new features easily. The choice of subdued colors and gray tones enhances the user experience and makes long-term use less stressful. More so, we chose to use additional libraries such as Font Awesome and jQuery to style tabs, menus, footer, and headers with universal symbols and reusable snippets of code. In the future, City Dome and Convention Center could access and add content using the CMS Blur admin. And uh, we provided the links here, and all of that is in the technical documentation as well. The next component of the presentation is the strengths and weaknesses. And obviously, this will um, go back to a little bit to the system requirements we touched on earlier. We definitely wanted to um, make sure we hit all of those system requirements, but we also wanted to list a couple um, key parts of it that, I, that we believe to be strengths. So, um, very easy to maneuver through the site and use and use um, was a key key system requirement we had tagged early on in the process and at the end of the the process we're glad to announce that it'll be very user friendly for you guys to use um, the database is very efficient in storage and query capabilities um, again something you guys really wanted was to be able to access the stored data and to store data properly that is something that will, will be very easy for you guys to use again. Uh, reporting is very efficient. Um, again, going back to the system requirements, that was a key topic um, in your guys' outline of what you wanted. Um, sending reports to marketing and whichever other departments you needed to. Again, we, we made sure that that was something um, that was a strength in the uh, prototype. Um, and again, the main system requirement that we touched on earlier was the eliminating of errors. Uh, this does that very well by using be, be, being very user friendly, efficient, and storing and maintaining all required data for City Dome and Convention Center to do their jobs effectively. Under weaknesses, um, there, there were a couple of things that ended up being the case um, that doesn't affect the project very much, but it will be a couple of things you'll have to be aware of. Um, not designed as a client facing interface. So eventually down the road, if you guys wanted to open this up to um, the customers booking their own reservations, um, we would have to make a few changes. And then unable to open and use um, information system in multiple browser windows simultaneously. Harry and Kathleen, you guys can both use it at the same time. You just won't be able to have three or four different tabs open in whatever um, internet you use. Um, you'll only be able to use it in one browser window at a time. And now for the last part, the part of the presentation you guys were all looking forward to is our prototype demonstration. Um, we posted a link here, which you'll also have in the, the documentation that we'll submit to you guys at the end of the project. And I'm going to turn it over to Jared here, who is going to show the prototype demonstration hitting the system requirements and how easy it is to use for you guys. To access the Triple J reservation system, you'll first need a username and password. Enter the username and password at the login screen and click the login button to enter the site. Once you've logged in, you'll see a number of different options. At the very top of the screen, you'll see that we have options to add new, modify existing, view reports, or access options. These options give us the ability to add new customers, caterers, venues, or bookings, and also to check availability uh, for a possible booking. We also have the ability to modify any of those items. We have a number of different reports we can view, including a bookings by customer report, active bookings report, canceled bookings report, active and canceled bookings report, and then also a full customer list report. Under options, we have the ability to manage users. Now you'll see that because I'm logged in right now using a standard user account, if I click on the manage users option, I'm going to get an authorization error. 
if I were logged in as an administrative user, I would have the options to view and edit user accounts. To add an entry into the system, we'll use the Add New option at the top. In this example demonstration, we're going to add a new booking into the system. Before we add a booking, we might first want to check availability to see what rooms are available that will meet the client's needs. To check availability, I select the Check Availability option under the Add New menu. Here, I enter the start date and end date of the booking that I'm looking for. In this example, let's search for uh, an event for May 22nd to May 24th. Click the Check Availability button. The page will reload for me, and it'll show me a list of all of the rooms that are available at that date, along with their cost, size, capacity, and included amenities. I can also see the ID of the room adjacent to the room that's available, so I can see if it would be possible to combine multiple rooms to accommodate a larger audience. In the example here, I can see that both rooms 11 and 12 are available, and they are adjacent to one another. So if I did need to be able to accommodate more than 250 people, I could book both of these rooms and then have the ability to accommodate up to 400. In this example, we'll go ahead and we'll book the Milwaukee room. At the Enter New Booking option, all of the customers that are loaded into the system can be selected from a drop-down box. Rooms can also be selected from a drop-down box, along with caterers. Again, we were going to book for May 22nd to May 24th, so I can go ahead and enter those dates here and click Submit. I see now I have confirmation that my booking has been added. If those dates had not been available and I had attempted to book the room anyway, I would have received an error message advising me that the room is not available for those dates. Once I have a booking added, I may need to go back in later and make modifications. If I select the Modify Existing menu and go down to Booking, it will show me a list of all current bookings in the system. If I scroll down to the bottom, I'll see the new booking that I just added. And if I select the radio button next to that booking and click View Record, it'll be displayed on the screen for me. From there, I can change any of the relevant options for the booking. I also have the ability to cancel it. In this instance, let's say that uh, Mr. Strand called and said he no longer needed the room, so we're going to mark that booking as canceled. Update the option, click Submit, and it will be updated in the system. We also have the ability to view reports. One of the reports we have available is a bookings by customer report. We can access our reports by going to the view reports drop down menu at the top, or we can also click the buttons at the top of the main site to access reports as well. If I click on my bookings by customer report, you'll see it's displayed on the screen for me and I can see um, all bookings by customer with relevant information included. If I look at any of my other reports, as an example, if I wanted to look at my canceled bookings report, it's displayed on the screen for me with the option to further filter by customer. So in the example here, let's say that I only wanted to see canceled bookings for uh, Mr. Strand. I can type in either first name or last name. It'll search the string click Submit, and you'll see that my results are updated to show me only those relevant bookings. At the bottom of the screen, we have additional options that we can use to go home, uh, manage users, sign out. Also, additional shortcuts to the Add New and View slash Modify if it's easier to access from the bottom of the page. To show you what the administrative portion of the website looks like, I'm going to sign back in using an administrator account. I enter my username and password, again, click Login, and everything will look generally the same, except that now, if I go to my options and click on Manage Users, instead of getting an error message, it'll show me the administrative options to view, modify, existing, add user, or delete user. 
Again, I could also get here by clicking the user settings button at the bottom. And that concludes the demo of the Triple J reservation system. I hope you'll see that this system will definitely meet the needs of the City Dome and Convention Center, and we look forward to working with you.